Hey guys, it's Tasha, and I'm back with another tutorial. This one is the full crystal nail. So I always do a complimentary glitter color underneath uh, when I'm doing a full crystal nail. And this is because if the crystals um, are spaced a little bit and there's um, a little bit of a gap, the glitter will show through instead of like a solid color and it won't be as noticeable. So I'm doing two coats of this and curing. Next I'm hopping in with my Sticket and I'm using the dotting tool end of my blinger and I'm picking up a somewhat generous amount and I'm going to apply it at the cuticle and then evenly disperse the product um, about halfway down the nail. The key with Sticket is to make sure that there's a thick enough layer that it will kind of come up and around the very edge of the crystal, not over top. Um, but it kind of needs to hug that crystal and hold it in place. If you ever are experiencing issues with losing crystals with Stick It, which most people do not, um, it's probably because you're not putting enough product on or you're not curing it long enough. So I've gone ahead and I've applied that even layer of Stick It, and now I'm going to be using a mix of different crystals. I have chosen white opal, I've got some chrome silver in there, and I've got some traditional crystal. And I'm using different sizes as well, and you're going to see me put in a different shape here pretty quick. I think I used a flame shape. Um, whenever I do a full crystal nail, I really like using different shapes and sizes and colors. I just think it adds a lot of interest to the nail. Um, I know a lot of people choose to use one color or all the same size, and that's totally fine. I just wanted to show you guys how I like to put together a full crystal nail. Um, and you'll see here, I don't think I've done it quite yet, but I'm gonna go in with some caviar beads right now, <laughs> and I'm gonna fill in any major gaps. Sometimes, no matter how much you try and butt up the crystals together, you're still going to get little um, gaps here and there. So I have a, a wheel of different size caviar beads that I will go in with as I'm applying the crystals and put them kind of here, there, and everywhere. Again, it helps add interest to the nail and also fills in any gaps. Um, yeah, because regardless of how well you place your stones and kind of organize them, there's still going to be little gaps here and there. So you guys can see I'm just working down the nail, and I'm going to make sure that I cover all of the shticket that I've put on with crystals, because if I don't, and I put that in the lamp and I cure it, um, when I go to put crystals over cured shticket, it's going to be higher than the rest of the crystals. So you want to make sure you apply crystals and beads to all of the shticket that you've put on the nail, and then pop it in the lamp for a cure. Now I'm just going to go in and I'm going to repeat those same steps over again on the other half of the nail. I'm going to apply a nice even coat of the Sticket and I'm going to make sure it's bumped up against the other crystals. That way there's product where I need it and I'm going to work it all the way down to the tip. Then I'm going to go back in and start applying more stones and crystals. Like I mentioned to you guys already too, there's no right or wrong way of doing this. I'm just showing you how I like to put together a full crystal nail. So you're going to see me here just finishing the nail off. I am making sure I'm still using a mix of sizes and colors, trying to keep um, the colors kind of away from each other so I don't really want to put two opal together and two um, silver together and vice versa. Obviously sometimes it's unavoidable but you kind of want to disperse the colors and the shapes evenly uh, throughout the nail. One big thing too is when you apply your stones into the sticket, just lightly press it into place. You don't need to push too hard. Um, A because it there should be enough product on there to kind of envelop the side of the stone already and B you don't want to wreck the wax end of your blinger tool so just lightly press once you're happy with the whole nail pop it in the lamp for a cure so one main thing to remember is that stick it actually cures with an inhibition layer 
So you're gonna wanna make sure that you do one of two things. You can seal it like I'm doing right now. I'm using my Detailer 2 brush and some No Wipe Top Coat, and I'm just going around and making sure any exposed areas of Stickit are covered, and I'm also concentrating on making sure that I seal all of the caviar beads that I've applied, because caviar beads are notorious for kind of tarnishing or losing their color after wearing them for a little while. This also makes sure that it holds them in place, the whole time your client is wearing them. Another option you can do, which I've done on myself and my clients, is I will apply a little bit of gel cleanse or isopropyl alcohol to the nail and I'll actually um, use a nylon nail brush and just gently kind of scrub the uh, crystals, trying to avoid getting too much of the inhibition layer and the gel cleanse or alcohol on the client's skin, of course. We want to minimize exposure, um, but that kind of helps get rid of that inhibition layer. My favorite technique is doing what I'm doing right now and using the no wipe. So once you've cured that no wipe, if that's the option that you choose to take, uh, your full crystal nail is complete. This is a great accent nail uh, for this time of year, for Christmas or for New Year's or really for any time of the year. When can you say no to crystals? <laughs> I hope you guys like this video. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward video, but I wanted to do something to show you guys what I like to do with full crystal nails. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Hey, let's be social. Find me on Instagram at Natasha Harton.